Hello and welcome to the Pickle Jar. My name is Josh and in today's video we're going to be painting a halfling Blood Bowl player. Hi guys, welcome to the video. Before we get started, I just want to say if you're new to the Pickle Jar, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below so you can keep up to date with all the videos we release in the future. We're back again with another Let's Paint video. Now, this is one that I recorded a while back, but I never actually ended up editing the footage and putting it together as a video. Those of you that have watched my Centurion Challenge series will have seen a while back I painted a Halfling Blood Bowl team for a birthday event that I had back in August. And this Let's Paint episode is for one of the players that I painted. Now, this one's a little bit different because I almost exclusively used contrast paint. It was my first experience using it properly. I really enjoyed it and using it on this Blood Bowl team is what then convinced me to use it for my Space Marine Salander army. So, without any further ado, here we go with the Let's Paint episode. So to start with, I base coated the model in Wraithbone Contrast Spray. Now, as I'm working with contrast paints, obviously it's, it's, a, it's a contrast base spray that I'm using. I then went with the Gulliman Flesh Contrast Paint for the skin. So that's the face, arms and the feet because it's a halfling and they don't wear shoes. So all these contrast paints that I'm applying, I'm going straight from the bottle onto the miniature. I'm overloading my brush a little bit more than I would do normally uh, because that's the idea with contrast paint is that you sort of put more on and then take it off as needed so that you get the shadows nicely filled in. Once the skin was done I worked on the shorts so I took the Black Templar paint and painted on the shorts. Now this goes on quite light so I found that I needed to put two coats on in most areas to get it looking black as opposed to grey. This might work differently with different sprays but with the Wraithbone that is the experience that I had on this occasion and on occasion since then when I've used it. So the main thing with contrast paint is just to try and keep control of the paint once it's on your brush. Um, you don't want to overload it too much so that it runs everywhere. You can be quite accurate with it if you're careful, despite its sort of more fluid nature. Once the black was done, I then took Flesh Terror's red and started work on his shirt and shoulder armour pads. Now my team is called the Little Max, so uh, their kit was very uh, McDonald's inspired. So I'm going with red and yellow stripes and then black shorts. Um, and then little M's on the shoulder pads. So the red is such a nice rich colour and I found that I really only needed one coat of this and um, it's very very vibrant. To be fair most of the contrast paints have been very vibrant. Next I took some Rhinox Hide. So this is just a standard paint and I'm just using this for the belt and the braces. Once that was done I then took some XV88 yellow and I used this to put the base layer down for the yellow stripes on the shirt and base coat for the yellow M on the shoulder pad. that base coats down I took some Ureal yellow and then covered over that. I always find that working from XV88 is a nice base when doing yellows. A lot of people use browns or creams but I tend to use this for most yellows when I'm uh, going from a, a darker colour. So what I'm doing with this is covering over most of it but leaving the XV88 in some of the shadowed areas where the shirt's ruffled up just to give some highlight and some depth to this part of the shirt as well as the red contrast paint. Once that was on I took some lead bell shirt and applied that to the few metallic areas so the belt buckle and the trim around the shoulder armour pads and the dinner plate on the back. Now 
Now that that's done, I took the uh, Go Grunter fur brown and used that to paint the ball under his arm. Now this is also another absolutely fantastic contrast paint. And if you're interested, it is the exact right shade of brown for cooked sausages. Once that was done, I took a mix of XV8CA and Ureal Yellow and applied that on his hair. I'm going for sort of a blonde look as I wanted this to be my uh, Gordon Ramsay look-alike. Now normally blonde you don't go direct yellow but because of the cartoonish nature that I'm going with uh, because of the halflings I figured that yellow was fine to start as a base coat. Then took some army painter skeleton burn and just applied some highlights to the hair just so it wasn't all one colour. Finally I took some white scar and painted the toenails and the eyes. And then took some Abaddon Black just to pinprick the pupils in the eyes. was left to do was to base him with some flock and tidy up the base rim and there we go one half ring blood bowl player all finished i really enjoyed painting the halfling blood bowl team i thought that the miniatures were really nicely sculpted there was so much character in those models and i thought that the contrast paints were really fun to work with as i mentioned earlier using them to paint this blood bowl team is what convinced me to use them to paint my salamander space marines i really enjoyed painting this and i hope that you enjoyed seeing the process of me painting one of the halflings now before we finish i want to introduce a new segment that i'm going to be putting in the videos which i'm going to be called the community spotlight across facebook and instagram and reddit I'm involved with quite a few different miniatures uh, groups. And what I'm wanting to do is sort of take other people's work and models that they've painted and show them off and spotlight other people in these communities that are doing some really, really fantastic work. So for this week, I've got this picture here of a Primaris Chaplain painted by Instagram user One Man and His Brush. Now, I recently painted my own Primaris Chaplain and I really, really enjoyed the model. It was such fun to paint and this guy has done a fantastic job on his Primaris Chaplain. I love the colours that he's chosen and the attention to detail and it's a really nice finish and it's a fantastic job well done. So go check out his Instagram if you want to see more of his work. If you'd like to see one of your own miniatures featured on the Community Spotlight, then be sure to send us an email with the picture and a link to your Instagram or Facebook page. The email address is down below in the description. If you want to get in touch with us and get involved in the community, you can contact us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Again, all the links are down below in the description. That's all from me for this week, and I'll see you next week with another video.